Hi, and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is going to uh, look at how to make a desktop app to open um, tours or objects uh, made with obviously Object2VR or Pano2VR. Okay, so here's a couple of demonstrations. Here is a um, Pano2VR tour, it's a two node tour. We've got things like full screen, all fun fully functional, so great for kiosks and things like that. And here is an app that we've made using Object 2 VR. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, first and foremost, you need to output um, from uh, either Object or Pano 2 VR. Here is a Pano 2 VR output folder uh, with the two node tour. And if we open up the folder, you can see we've got all the files in there as usual. But what we need to add to this is a, a package.json file to tell the app um, what files to open and what size window to show, etc. So the way we're going to do that is go to Applications and go to Text Edit. Now I'm going to type some code in here. Um, now Text Edit will reformat things like uh, quotations and things like that. So to stop Text Edit doing that, if we go to Preferences and make sure Smart Quotes is deselected. Okay, the other thing I want to do is go to Format and make plain text. Okay, so we're ready to start putting some code in there. Now to save some time, I've got it already typed up. I'm just gonna copy and paste it in, um, but we will take a look at what's in there. Okay, so we've got name, park, tour. That doesn't, it isn't really that important. If it doesn't match, it won't stop the app from working. Um, main, that's important um, because we have an index HTML page and that's the page it's got to look for. If my HTML page was say, I don't know, park one, then it would need to be park one in here. Then we've got some window parameters. Um, when the uh, app opens, do we see the outside frame? That's set to true. Um, toolbar is set to false. If that was set to true when the app opened, we would see an address bar like a web page. Um, then we've got some um, window uh, control over its width and height. Okay, so that all done. What I need to do now is just save the file in the um, tour. So let's go to desktop and it's a Pano 2 VR output. And as I said before, we need to call it package.json. And when we come to click save, do we want to use the JSON extension, which I do. And that's that. So there's the JSON file. The only other thing I need to do now um, is just change the name of the folder and that has to be app dot nw as i hit return because i've added an extension it's going to ask me do i want to add it which i say yes to so i want to add okay so that's my tour all ready to go what i need to do now is um, visit a website where we've got the nwjs project that helps um, which creates the app for us so basically if i open up um, web page and go to nwjs.io website here you see the website. We've got some release notes and some other information about it, but you can download the app for uh, OS X 64 or 32. I'm going to download it for uh, 64. And you can see you can download for other operating systems as well. Okay, so once it's downloaded, the Mac Auto extracts the zip. So this is what you end up with. And you end up with the app and some credits. Now the license agreements state that as long as the credits intact, uh, are intact, you can use the app as, you know, as much as you want and where you want. So I'm going to move the app to the desktop and then I'm going to right button click show package contents and just to keep myself legal I'm going to move the credits inside the app. Okay right so once that's done what I need to do now is just go into contents and resources. I've got some files in here I don't need so I'm going to delete those and I've got uh, in here the NW icon. Now this is the icon for the app. Now I have my own garden gnome icon, all I've done is just um, copied the file name, so when I drag and drop it in, I'm asked to replace it, and there we go. So that's my new icon in there. All I need to do now is just drag in the app NW folder, which contains my tour. All right, now you'll probably notice that the app itself hasn't changed its icon, that's because it's cached. What we need to do is just change the name of this, so I normally wait to the last thing before changing the name. So now I'm gonna call it, I don't know, Park Tour. Park tour, and as soon as I hit return, it'll drop the cache and use the new icon. There it goes. All right. When you first open it, what's going to happen is it's going to notice that it's um, it's not from a um, a, a verified uh, source. So it's going to say, "Do you really want to open this?" And you just say, "Yep, yeah, open." The first time you do this, um, you get this. But once you've opened it once, then you 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 don't get asked again. It just opens. 
Okay, so there's our 202 we've just put in. If you notice on top of the toolbar, it says NWJS. If you want to uh, make that match the name of the package, if you go into contents and under info P list, if we open that up, I'm going to open it up with Xcode, but you can open it up with text edit again. And what you're looking for is bundle name and change that. So I'm going to call that park to all right. OK, I'm going to save and as it saves uh, or closes, it will save the file. So now when I open the package up or the app up, it says park tour here. OK, just to prove a point, what I'm going to do is go show package contents. Um, contents resources. I'm going to label the app to old underscore and move it out. I'm going to drag in the object to VR file. I'm going to call that again. We've got to call it app.nw. Yes, I want the extension. Add it. Open it up. What I'm going to do here is just go into the pano copy the JSON file and paste it in. The only thing I'm going to do here is just change its window size. I want 488 for the object. Uh, still using the same index uh, name, so I don't need to change anything else. And now when I open up the package or the app, I've got the object in there. So that's nice and simple. There you go. That's how to create a desktop app using the NWJS project. Thanks for watching.